Here I'm going to show you how to record a bond issued at a premium on the balance sheet with its journal entries. Now with bonds we have two cash flows. First would be its face value or principal amount. That's what we pay at maturity plus those interest payments and usually those are semi-annual interest payments. Then we have its present value or what we received for the bond when we issued it here. And that's based on discounting the principal amount or the face value amount back to uh, the issue date here plus those interest payments. And we discount those based on the market rate of interest. So if we're looking at a bond issued at a premium, its present value or what we receive for it here is greater than its face value, the difference. So that uh, difference here is called a premium and that has to be amortized over the life of the bond. So let's go up here and look at the basic journal entry. So let's say we issued a bond here for $100,000. So we credit bonds payable for $100,000. And then in this case, we received $104,100 in cash. So we debit cash. That included the premium amount. Now we need a balancing entry to balance the $100,000 with the $104,100. And we use that as a, a prem or valuation account here, the bonds payable. And we call that a premium to bonds payable. So we credit that for uh, $4,100. So the credit here of $4,100 plus the bond payable amount here of $100,000 balances with the $104,100 in cash. So uh, each period we amortize this premium amount down here until we have uh, got a zero balance here uh, when the bond comes due or and that $4,100 would cancel here. The credits of $4,100 would cancel with the debits of $4,100. So at the uh, maturity date the carrying value of that bond is $100,000. So we have Another, uh, we have the interest payable, or those are the semi-annual interest payments that we have to pay on the bond. We uh, record those by increasing our interest payable amount here at the stated rate of interest on the bond. That's what's stated on that bond times the bond's uh, a face value amount. And then we have the interest expense on that bond. That's what we include in net income on the income statement. So that's based on the market rate of interest times the bond's carrying value. And that bond's carrying value here is based on this payable amount uh, pl or plus this uh, premium here that's been amortized down. So this pre premium here or this valuation account in bonds payable becomes a balancing account between this uh, cash amount that we received and the bond uh, payable amount here. And it also becomes a balancing uh, account here for the interest payable and the interest expense on that bond. Okay, so let's go and calculate the amortization in this bond premium along with its interest costs. So here we have a face value of the bond of $100,000 and then we sold it and received $104,100 at its issue date. Then we set up this uh, balance and bond premium, which is a valuation account to the bonds payable account. And that is based on the difference here between uh, its face value and what we rece it received at it when we issued it. In this case, the difference here is $4,100. Then we go over here, the, the uh, uh, interest payments that we have to make on that bond here at the stated rate of interest at times the face value here. And the stated rate was 9%. And for the semi-annual periods, we'd use uh, divide that by two and get four and a half percent. And then we take that four and a half percent times the face value to bond. And in this case, it would be forty-five hundred dollars for each of the uh, semi-annual payments. Then we move over here and look at the interest expense that we recognize on the income statement. And that's based on the market rate of interest. In this case, it was 8%. You divide that by two for the semi-annual payments. And then you take, and that would be 4%. So you take that 4% uh, times the carrying value of the bond at the time here. And in the case of the first period here, it's $4,164. Then we have our amortization of that bond premium. That's that separate account here. And that is really the difference between the interest st uh, stated rate of interest interest payment minus the uh, interest expense that we recognize here at the market rate. So you subtract those two and you come up with this amortization amount here. And then you take this amortization of the premium amount uh, and subtract that from your bond premium 
uh, valuation account here each period. And in this case, uh, we subtracted $336 from the $4,100 uh, bond premium uh, balance there, and we get $3,764. So this amortization amount here uh, of that bond premium reduces this balance here in the bond premium each period. And thus, the book value of the bond here also de decreases. So uh, as this bond premium is being amortized here, we reduce this book value of the bond down to its face value when it's payable here. So the bond's payable account would be $100,000 and this book value of the bond would be $100,000 in the last period. So here let's go and look at how we record our interest payable. So that would be the uh, steady interest payments here at the stated rate of interest and then this interest expense is what we recognize here at the market rate of interest. Then we have this premium on the bonds payable account, which is amortized, this one here. We start out with the $4,100, and then we reduce it by this amortization amount here, which is really the difference here between the interest payable uh, account versus the interest expense that we recognize. And then when the bond becomes um, payable here, well, we first received, uh, had a payable amount here of $100,000, and then when it's payable, we reduce that by or when it matures, we reduce that by $100,000. And then looking at our cash account here, we uh, received $104,100 for it. We, so we debit or increase cash by that amount. And then we reduce cash or credited cash for those interest payments each month that we made of $4,500. And then we'd also reduce cash by uh, uh, the maturity value of the bond when we uh, pay for that bond or pay the uh, face value of that bond to the bondholders. So that would be a summary here of how our, we make our calculations and journal entries for this amortization of a bond issued at a premium.